Welcome back to the Tokyo Fresh Podcast. My name is David. I'm here with Jordan. What up, in, guys? In a, uh, in a new setup. There's a table now. Got a new zone for those are watching the video. Very nice. A, a nice white wall that I need to <laughs> change to something else. For like a... Some posters up. Yeah, sure. Mario Party posters. <laughs> Done. Perfection. There you go. Easy, easy, easy. No problem. How are you doing this week, dude? What have you been up to? Uh, you know, just getting all this set up, buying stuff, and uh, it's the last week of school this week, so finish that, and, you know, it's whatever. See, that's the thing. Everyone's been talking about, like, spring vacation. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, what's that? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? What's that? Like, I was like, oh, Jordan. Because, like, I'm still friends with a bunch of teachers, mm-hmm. so we're, we're on, like, a different work timetable. Sorry. So everyone's like, oh, man, like, spring vacation's coming up. Do you want to go traveling somewhere? And I'm like, no. Huh? What? Va- va- vacation. Why? Why you quite? Sh- Boy, I don't know what that is. I'm a working what drone. What word is that? What is that? Va- you mean a day that I don't have to work that isn't the weekend and or a national holiday? Don't understand what you're talking about. Mm. Can't help you there. Yep. I think well, that's one of the things I miss about being a teacher. Like, them... You know, I'm I'm finally glad that I'm off, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, how long are you actually off for? I'm off till the eighth. The so eighth? Like two two weeks? That's yeah, pretty good. About two weeks. Man. But I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. Actually, <laughs> yes. That's what I would do. I feel like because we're coming to the end of the fiscal year. Yeah. So it's around this time, I feel like people are like the most exhausted. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yes, like, yeah. like people mm-hmm. are them. Like I'm so done. Like everyone's like at their most done. Like even at work and stuff. This is the time when everyone has the the bonenkai. Is it this time the bonenkai happens? Uh usually. Usually, like yeah. That. It's yeah. like the bonenkai, which is like the the bonus party type thing. Then the the end of the fiscal year celebration type stuff, which mm-hmm. is like, yeah, yeah we're yeah. done. We finished the fiscal year. Let's like have a big old party type thing. But man, normally those are good for blowing up steam. But because of Coronioni, there's like not really been any of those. Yeah, you know, you don't want to do that. I mean, my accomplices do it anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking sucks, dude. I haven't had to go to a single school function this entire year. And Seriously? And it has been bliss. No sports day? I mean, sports day happened, but, like, they staggered the sports day, so it was, like, one day was, like, San Nense, mm. but then you were teaching if you are in Ninense or Ichinense, then it's, like, well, nice. you... you have to go and teach, right? Mm. So, for me, who's an LT who, you know teaches all three levels <laughs> every nensei every, yeah it's just like yeah i i don't get a choice <laughs> fucking sucks mm-hmm. so there's no day off no no but isn't like sports in normally a weekend anyway no usually it's during the week hmm. it just depends on what day people want to have it i guess man it's been a while since i've done like any sports day things mm. like they're normally pretty good days like if you yeah it's interesting it's fun yeah if you get if you, yeah, good with the parents since it's, there's always like one teacher event Yes, which is usually, always fun. Typically, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think the one I liked was the there's like a teacher tug of war. Mm-hmm. That was fucking fun, dude. Strong as fuck. That was good. That I don't was think fun. we ever did that at my school. It was always the students, never the teachers. We had um the previous school. We had like a relay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was like it was like a weird relay. Mm-hmm. So like each 100 meters of the relay was like a weird different like event. Okay. So, so like, okay. So there's like, um, you'd start off. It'd be like the first person was like a sprint, right? Just yeah. a regular ass sprint. But then the second person, it would be like, oh, they have to do hurdles. Oh, fuck. Then what? the third person was like, they had like a fucking like tire like wrapped around them. They had to run with the fucking tire. That is some fucking Hajime no Ippo training. Yeah, and then nice. but the, but the the best part was is that the the last section. Mm. You had to ride like a small child's tricycle. Holy, holy shit! It That's is the best, the funniest shit ever. What teachers doing this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, my and they just get smoked because the kids are like, Tiny. yeah. You put like your Ichinensei kid on the, the, on tricycle. the fucking tricycle because he actually fits, right? Yeah. He's like, I'm done. Du- he's like, no problem. Easy. Yeah, and he just destroys you because he's got the. He's got the biomechanics to push that fucking wheel, whereas you know teachers got like this fucking bow legged stance because they can't they can't get their legs closer to their chest to go fucking ride this tricycle. I want to 
seen I would have seen that so badly. And of course it's out in the in the like the dirt, in the dirt, dirt as dirt well. Fields. You're just spinning <laughs> out in this fucking like five year old kid's tricycle. Yeah, it's fucking stupid, but it's funny. <laughs> Could imagine like you're going through like your school's like gym stuff. Like Sensei, why do, why do we have all these small tricycles? <laughs> Don't just, worry about it. He just starts being flashback. He's like, oh, don't ask me about the tricycles, man. Just kept spinning out, man. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't go in a straight line, bro. <laughs> Crash into the school it's sucker. Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> it's getting Vietnam like, flashbacks. It's in the background here on LMG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kept spinning out, man. It's night and night we can do. They were everywhere. <laughs> the dirt side speaking Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I haven't done sh- jack shit. I, I mean, I guess I got Monster Hunter. Oh, dude. Yesterday. I want to get Monster Hunter so badly. I, yesterday was weird. Mm-hmm. So, like, yesterday I went to go pick up my visa. Yep. I went there, got it in, like, 10 minutes. Easy. Which is great. Uh, I think I spent more time standing in the line than I actually did waiting for the visa, which is nice. That's pretty good. Um, But then uh, on the way home, mm-hmm. I went to go buy it, and it's nothing. Nobody had it. Nobody had a physical copy. And then I saw that the physical copy was, like, considerably more expensive than the digital one. Digital, so I yeah. just said, fuck that. You get the digital one. Fuck it. Yeah. 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 But um, it was weird because I bought it, right? And usually when you buy a game, when you go home, you want to play that game, right? Yes. I got home. I didn't play it at all. Mm. Yeah. How weird. Was, I had time. It was like I got home at, like, 11. Yeah. In the morning. Mm. And just didn't touch it the entire day. And Seriously? then just decided to play this morning. Why was that? I just I just, I don't fucking know. And like I played games. Like I played other games. I played Apex yesterday night. Like mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I think it got to the point where I knew that Monster Hunter was gonna have like this long fucking character creator right up front. Yes. So I'm like, all I'm gonna do is make a character tonight, and yes. then I'm not gonna. Play. Yes. 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 I'm gonna be yes, like, yes. I'm so I'm so sleepy I'm now. So tired of making this character. Yeah. Bedtime. Pretty much. So. Here's the thing, though. It's like, I thought, like, oh, you know, so I, I started playing it this morning. So I thought, oh, okay, you're just going to make a character. No. No, you have to make, like, three whole characters worth. Three characters. Because you have to make your main hunter character. Yeah. Then you have to make your fucking dog. Oh, shit. Your rideable, right. your rideable sick-ass dog, ninja dog. That's going to be good. And then you have to make your cat. Mm. And, like, okay, granted, the dog and the cat don't have as many options as the hunter does, but... There's still a lot of options. Fuck me, dude. I saw my... When my friends got the game, they were, like, flicking through it. Yeah. And there's a ton of options. They have an Afro hairstyle. They do, yes. Um, It's, like, the only black hairstyle, which is weird Mm. because Monster Hunter World had a lot. Yeah, they had, like, dreads and they had, like, um, cornrows and stuff Yeah, they had Yeah, they had, like, Afro, they had dread. But, like, not even that. Like, they just had, like, a lot of different... Hairstyles, yeah. I wonder if that's just a, a switch... Like I think so. Limitation yeah. where they said like, okay, we're only allowed to have ten hairs for males, ten hairs for, for females. females. Like, because yeah. like I noticed like even the female hairs too. Like they were missing a lot of the like shortcuts. There's like only one ponytail style, mm-hmm. which is weird because mm-hmm. in the in world there's like twenty. Yeah, there's like five, yeah. six. Probably that 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 is probably much the 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 what do you call it the switch limitations. Yeah, like, I mean the game is still seven gigs. Yeah. It's massive, dude. It's big. It's fucking huge. I, I guess it's, it's something like, okay, guys, we can either have this cool extra feature on the game, or we can have more hair. Yeah. You know and, like, I mean? considering in Monster Hunter how often you just slap on a helmet and your hair doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, like you pick the Afro hairstyle. I'll never but then, see it. But then the second you wear a helmet, it's like, okay, you don't see it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's like, who cares? I'd rather just not wear a helmet, like... So they they put that option in this game. Nice. You can toggle off visibility nice. of armor, which I you couldn't do before. That's good. In in world, mm. they added uh things called uh, what the fuck is it called? Layering wear, mm. which is like you have your armor, but then you have layering wear, which basically replaces the what it looks like over top. Yeah. So you could like mix and match that shit. But this one is just like, ah, you don't want a helmet? Just turn it off. Turn it off. Run around, around naked. Go ahead. Fuck it. Do it. We ain't gonna stop you. Yeah. It's your game now. Do whatever. You paid what, eight thousand yen for this game? Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah, especially if I paid eight thousand yen for this fucking game. Fuck. That's expensive. Eight thou David. It's yeah, it's it's expensive. I I, I honestly debated like, mm. oh, should I wait till it goes to like book off? But like That's what I was thinking. But yeah. like realistically you know, what I'm gonna save like what two hundred yen, 
Yeah, 200 yen. If that. If that. Yeah. And, like, I would have to wait till the next fucking Monster Hunter's out before yep. I save, like, 2,000 Anything, yen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's the thing. With, like, with certain games, the price tag is warranted. Yes. Like, yeah. I... I feel like with like Monster Hunter, I look at the 8,000 yen price tag and I'm like, ooh, that's like 80 bucks. But then I'm like, I will be playing this game for months. Yeah, like, I, I'm going to put like 100 hours into this game yeah. and then still not be done. Yes. This reminds me of like there are certain games that they are definitely worth the price tag because I know that I'll keep coming back to this game over and over again. For me, mm. it's like Neo 2. I'll come back to that time and time again. Like yeah. even after I've completed it, they, they just like... St- this is like downloads they put into the game. Yeah, they've put out like a whole almost like campaign worth of, yeah, yeah. of DLC. Like which different. I have not I've not even seen. Like I beat the game. I haven't seen any of that DLC. It's apparently it's really good. Yeah, apparently it's, it's really, really good. Really good, yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's Skyrim as well. I've been getting back into Skyrim. Yeah, I see like I've been playing Apex and I see you on Skyrim. I'm like, oh he's playing Skyrim. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break the immersion. Dude, Skyrim is so I've never actually completed Skyrim. Oh really? Never. So, so I you played it though yeah yeah i've played i played a bunch of it when i was younger but i never actually completed it like Mm -hmm. for me it was just like i start the game do the first like y'all or whatever quest lines and then and then then just fuck and then i just fuck around for like hours in that game that's all i did like i didn't really i think the furthest i got was i bought a house and i became like a werewolf and that was it like sweet yeah but that was like the furthest i'd ever got in that game like i never went any further than that because it was like i was just not really focused enough Mm -hmm. or i didn't have the time really to play it but then recently, like, I, I, I re-bought the game like on the PlayStation 4. Just I was like, oh, nostalgia. This will be a fun game to fuck around with for a little bit. And I just like... I think when I first got it, I played a bunch. Then I stopped again. And then recently, my friend was... No, I, I watched something about Skyrim. And I was like, oh yeah, Skyrim's really fun. Let me... Let me... Let me boot that up. Mm. Let me see how fun that game. And I remember this game is. Fun. I didn't even know you owned it. Did you go out and buy it? Yeah, like, I bought it. Yeah, it was uh, like okay. it was like on sale in like Book Off or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, like, I mean like, fuck. It's it's kind it's of crazy game. to to think about. Like mm. Skyrim is fucking. It's old. old. I played that in university, dude. Yeah, like I remember playing Skyrim in like yeah my third or fourth year of university. Like it's fucking. It's when did old... Skyrim? When did it come out? Is it almost ten years old? Yeah, I think so. I feel like it's pretty well they've got the two dlcs the, the dragonborn and the something something DLC. so there's new areas of the game it as is well. exactly 10 years old this fucking year. omega toe skyrim 10 years 10 fucking... years let me say the game is still fresh yeah it's it's weird how that works right yeah it's so like that i went to like a uh what riften I love mm-hmm. Riften. Riften's like my favorite town in the game. It's like oh, it's so goofy too, because like it's got that two levels. So go- the thieving, the thieve guilds are there. Yeah, it's goofy as fuck. Like the first mission in the town is like, hey, steal this thing. Mm. My pickpocket is like level hundred. Did you just go around stealing stuff? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like the the thieves guilds are like, I don't think you you got what it takes to be in the thieves guild. I'm like, bitch, I'm level hundred. <laughs> like I have perfect touch. You can equip an item and I can steal of you. Like I'm yeah. I'm the greatest thief known to man. Like, it's what I... It's it's so much fun. So, like... Just, I don't think you can steal things. Just crouch in front of the man. Stand, <laughs> Please, I did that! <laughs> stand, stand up. Man isn't wearing clothes anymore. And he's like, the fuck happened? I what? Li- I literally did that. Some guard was, like, giving me lips. I was like, I'm gonna steal your sword. I just, just took his sword. You know what I love? You, <laughs> you know, like, Skyrim is... Like, pickpocketing in Skyrim is one thing. But pickpocketing in Fallout is way better. Is it better? So here's the thing is mm. you can reverse pickpocket so instead of taking you stuff, stuff away you can give them stuff oh same in skyrim yeah 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 it's fucking but, but here's the thing is is fallout's in the future mm. so grenades exist oh fuck off okay yeah so you can pickpocket a live grenade into someone's body oh that is and then it fucking explodes are you serious yeah That's it's genius. fucking great it's super funny it just works it just works it just works what a genius yeah. the amount of um skyrim like bugs and like a mm. what do you call it like weird not even hacks it's just like weird game design stuff there is in that game it's so funny like this is one trick i found out that if you go to the the college of winterhold or something like that mm-hmm. just like if you look on the floor in one part of the of the of the of the temple church thing like you can just see like a chest in the ground you can just you can just loot the chest and it's like full of this one person's like whole inventory like a seller's inventory like, their entire thing is just accessible, just on the ground. What the fuck? Yeah. There's tons of, like, bugs and stuff in this game. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. There, there's 
there's like probably like so, I don't know where it is, but I bet you in Skyrim somewhere there's just like a dev room where like if you can figure out how oh. to get into the dev room, there's like chests with like yeah yeah, yeah. In, invincible armor and there's there's a Kashyyyk um like check Ka- Kashyyyk. It's one of the the, the, the cats. The Kashyyyk? No, is it? A Kajit. Kajit. Kashyyyk is where Wookies are from. Wookies are from. Yeah, that's. Listen, I've been watching a lot of nonsense. All my fair enough references are getting fucked up. Yeah, Kajit. Um, the, the, the wandering traders. Mm-hmm, so in yeah. the game, there's just like a random rock. Oh yeah, Do you know about this can, shit? The hollow <laughs> rock where you can take their shit. It's yeah, yeah. Full of their but it's shit. like it's it's weird because it's just like along the side of a road yes. in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yes. the, the best thing is like, so the game has had like multiple updates, and multiple DLCs have been added onto the game. Mm. So everyone knows about these exploits yeah like everyone, everyone the knows game, the game's it. 10 years old like if you if you don't know about any of these exploits Come like on. what have you been google. doing like, like you, they're all on google been playing skyrim like, literally so like the cre- the creators have had like how many chances like get rid of the exploits right. they never do it's the, not worth their time it's, one it's not worth their time and two i think like the skyrim community thing really likes the exploits well it's 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 not worth their time too because like there's a risk that they run where if they fix that bug, they've suddenly created five more. So yes. they're like, this is a bug, but mm. it's so minimal yeah. and so just kind of like goofy and whatever. It that doesn't matter. Go, well, whatever. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't it matter in the end. Yeah. It's pretty fun. I mean, like even having access to all this stuff. So for example, if someone goes, oh, I'm going to rob this, the, this guy's chest and take all his magical spells and blah, 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 whatever. Cool. But unless you've actually played the game and leveled up your character, you don't have the magic like cap to use half the spells you've stolen so. yeah that's true too that was always one thing that that stopped me from playing mages in skyrim is because like you had to sit there and just like cast fireball for like eight fucking years to yes. get any skill in anything yes and like leveling leveling like restoration oh, was easy. easy yeah because you get hurt all the time all the time yeah and like fighting and like shooting lightning like that's another thing too like you can level it pretty easy but like stuff like charm and whatever uh, like you can Alter, do it, yeah. Because you just sit in a town and charm people, but it's fucking boring. It is, it is. I think I my conjuring is always pretty good, just because I like summoning the flame astronaut thing is really fun. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's that's a helpful dude. But apart from that, I'm like, man, it's yeah, fun. who cares, right? It's yeah, like... pretty much. My my thing in that game now is just bullying mages. So like, I'm doing all the mage <laughs> missions, and I've got this sword that like um it steals health. Ooh. So I'm just running around just like, haha, going through the caves, like killing all these mages and taking their shit. And they're like, you're not going to stop us because we're mages. And I'm like, no, go kill, kill that person. Kill that mage. I'm a novice. I'm a novice mage of, of some stab. I, I, he killed me in one hit. So like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> get out. Fucking get, get out of here. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Man, video games are fun as fuck, dude. Did you ever Shit. see the... I think it was on, like, the PlayStation 3 version mm. of Skyrim where there was a bug that when the fucking giants... You know, like, the giants, like, mm. the huge dudes, when they hit you with the fucking stick, it would, like, shoot you 50 Way million... Way up in the air. Yeah. yeah. Oh, f- it's, but it worked on everything, right? Everything. So the giants would fight, like, uh, bears or something. And, just and they would just them. send them, like, into, like, fucking orbit. Yeah. Just weird shit like that. I'm like, I'm perfectly okay with that being a bug. It's funny. Yeah, I remember. I remember playing the game years ago. Being, uh, you, you know, you get cocky in the game. I think Skyrim was one of my first like open world game style experiences. Mm-hmm. This was great. Like you spend hours in it. So I'm running around. You, you know, you're getting all these powers, getting all these weapons. You got some good armor. You know, you think you're, you think you're there. You think you're at the top. You're like, I'm one percent. You know, I can kill the Yarl. No one can stop me. Right. I'm fucking. Come on. I'm undefeatable. Bear easy. Dead. Like, what is that? Dead. Simple. Darkness Guild, get out of here. Dead. You find a giant and you're like, giant? What, 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 I'm going to kill you. And then he, he just fucking yeets you. Yeets you. Fucking 20 feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity, my greatest enemy. Gravity. Oh, no. I remember like running into this giant. I got like my sword out. My help is like shooting arrows. I'm like, ooh, let's fuck up this giant. I want to get some giant toes. <gasps> Doom. I'm in the air and I'm like, ooh. Ooh, you know, after Fig Newtons, Isaac Newton did not need to invent gravity. Listen, Isaac Newton should have stopped at Fig Newtons. <laughs> he should have stopped at Fig Newtons. You, so you, <laughs> it's that meme, people before gravity was invented, yeah, <laughs> just like flying around. <laughs> yeah, but at least they had Fig shit. Newtons. At least they had Fig Newtons. Yeah, yeah. So I've discovered gravity. It was crashing to the ground, like, bro. 
Why now the stop? fig newtons are on the ground. Look at you, the dirty dumb. fuck. Dickhead. Now we have to build tables. That's why they never spent. They never sent Isaac Newton to space. Yep. They were like, we'll keep no gravity out there. Because mm-hmm. you know that's that's how gravity. That's how gravity works. Life's life will be great. Great once we get out there. Once we get out to space, no and put some gravity out there. It'd be great again. Fucking fantastic. Man, I love that. Have you seen the um? I was reading about flat earthers recently. Okay. Just because it's it, it's very entertaining. My my whole thing was like I thought it was a troll for the longest time. Mm. Like I I. It's not. It's not. Yeah, I know. That's that's the weirdest thing, right? It's not. It's not. It's, it's not, not a, a troll. troll. Like what the fuck? Like for the longest time, I was like, man, this is an elaborate troll. Like you guys are well done. And mm. then I was like really looking into it. I was watching like the All Gas No Breaks old video about it. Oh man, speaking of that, I got some news on that. Oh, I, did you, yeah, I, I heard yeah, that. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. That fucking sucks. Dude, awful. For those that don't know, All Gas No Breaks is a very entertaining YouTube channel that um, this guy and his two friends started driving around America, filming like the crazy weird parts of America. Like, it's very entertaining. But then he signed a contract with a company like, yep. when he first started and the company fucked him yep. like so they badly. fucked him over. Like, so for months we had no content from this channel brilliant channel very likable guy he's young he's younger than us like 22 yeah he's yeah 22 23, 23 something like, like he's, he's a young he's kid. not he's no older than 25 yeah he's a young kid so this big company like, fucked over this young kid like and they well, were like, like they own the they own the like the naming rights yeah yeah, yeah. they like they basically like tricked me to sign don't this thing to get sign the contracts unless you have a lawyer or someone mm. who's smart read it yes Yes, that is the lesson. Yeah. That's even the lesson he taught. Like when he was um, putting up his in- Instagram. Mm. On his Instagram, he had like this uh, question time thing. Yeah. And at one point he was like, the only thing I can like teach everyone about this situation is that don't sign anything unless you know what you're signing. What you're signing 100%. I think that works anywhere, especially in Japan. Like, yeah. Don't do it. Yep. Poor guy. Honestly. Yeah, that's that fucking sucks. But generally, like the charm of the All Gas No Breaks channel was him. Yeah, yeah, he, for he, sure. Yes, he was, was. Yeah, Andre was the Andre, 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 Andrew, the dude. He was the charm. That curly haired boy. I forgot his name entirely, but I'm really bad at names. That's probably why. I think Andrew sounds Andrew, right. right? I'm gonna look. Maybe I don't know, but anyway, yeah, it so, is Andrew. So it's uh, Andrew McCullen. Follow mm. him on Instagram. He's good. It's Andrew of two W's dot M E. Mm. That's his Instagram. He's good. But yeah, don't support all gas no breaks anymore. Nope. Right? Sad times. Imagine, imagine like we sign a contract with some company and they steal our podcast. <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> so like one, never. One, one week it's us. The next week it's just like replacement us. <laughs> Scuffed Jordan. <laughs> Scuffed Jordan. It's like a it's like a black guy, but he doesn't have an afro. He's like yeah. he's in, he's in the, the first he's stage of an afro. He's bold. He's completely bold. And there's like alternative David. He's also yeah. from Canada, but he's from like the other side of Canada. He speaks French. He speaks French. <laughs> Just doesn't not a lick of English. No. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to uh, Tokyo finish. Uh, uh Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Please. And I was like, he's like, ah, oh, and I, and I'm, and I'm the black guy with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. What do you, what do we, what do we do now? What, do we, what happens next? How do we, how do we podcast again? Yeah. Dude, I would love that. I feel like a lot of, um, a lot of companies do, do that a lot though. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like they feel like, because obviously brand recognition was really big. Yeah, of course. Like, like all you had to do was say the name of the the thing and people go oh yeah oh yeah that's that's brandy i'm definitely down for right it. but i feel like the issue is like nowadays people are sort of pulled away from brands kind of and they're more like oh this person's interesting right yeah or yeah this, i think so yes or like this thing they've made is good and thus i'm going for mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. like for me like when i'm when i'm watching youtube and stuff like that it's very much it's probably because of youtube actually like thinking about it mm-hmm. like youtube has very much spearheaded this whole it's not the brand it's the person who's spearheading the brand you know right you got your, uh, what is it, like, personality-based content. Yes, like yes, paros- yes, yes. parasocial relationship with... <laughs> it, in, in stuff like the case of uh, All Gas No Breaks, yeah. I, I wouldn't say there's a parasocial relationship because it's not it's not the same as something like Twitch where, mm. you know, it's a person buying a keyboard and you're, you have, like, active chat. Like, All Gas No Breaks is 
a video that comes out and you passively consume it, right? Yes. But at the same time, he's like um, engendered goodwill. Yeah. To to him as like a commentator just by what he's <laughs> he's done, <laughs> right? So very much so. That's interesting. I feel like uh, I feel like that's the way everything's sort of heading now. Mm. Brands are, brands are going in that direction as well. Like even like with like uh, Nike Japan, like a lot of their videos they're trying to get. What's the girl's name? Naomi. Naomi, <laughs> Naomi uh, Osaka's in everything. Yeah, it looks it looks good for them because they can just go look how diverse we are. We have Dude. the one half Japanese black person Dude. who has done things that are good. Dude. Right, like it's it's so it's so mm-hmm. vapid. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, yeah, like, like, and I'm sure Naomi Osaka is like cool as fuck. Yo, Devin, she's really chill. But at the same time, like, you can just you see through it. It's it's fucking, you know, it's glass. It's transparent, right? Yeah. If I feel like I've to, like, same side. If if a company came to me and they were like, "Hey, Jordan, we love the the content you're doing on blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Can you be in this thing we're doing?" And you can tell like straight away if they're like, "Okay, this guy generally likes what we're doing." Mm-hmm. Or you can tell if it's like, oh, it's because like, I'm black, so they want me to be on this thing they're doing. Right. You can always tell. But either way, I think I'd be like, yeah, sure. How much am I getting paid for it? Yeah, how much How much money? Do- I'm going to secure the bag. You want me to sell noodles? No- okay. Noodles? I can sell noodles. No worries, yeah. dude. No worries, dude. Come into coffee. You're approaching us for a sponsor? Definitely. Yeah, 100%. Any, anytime. Any oh, yeah. Time, I will sing your praises every it's, time we come on this mic. Every time, dude. Oh, man. One day we'll get one day, one day. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny. Target. You know what's funny though. I I realized that you on the on the the podcast Instagram. Yeah. You you followed Cometa Coffee. That's <laughs> that's the only brand that we follow. That's the only one. So like sometimes I'm just flipping through the Tokyo Fresh Instagram and I just see Cometa Coffee and I'm like, hmm. I can go for some co- Cometa Coffee right it's, now. It's the only brand I follow. It's literally the only bland. Because it's so good. Yeah, it's it's fucking good. Maybe I'll go have Komeda coffee tonight. Yes. Yes, you have to. It's yeah. so good. Like, <laughs> that's, that's the thing, like, it never for me, it never started as a meme. Mm. Like, I've told this one before, so I won't tell it again. But, like, every time I, the first time I went to Komeda coffee, I was like, yep. this place is the greatest. It's so good. Like, it is. It's, it's so good. Fucking sandwiches are just. Oh, oh they yeah. hit. They hit. Listen, guys, I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again, again, again. Komedo Kohi smacks. Go there. Just do yeah, it. Do it. When go you, there. I know a lot of you guys want to come to Japan. You're like, I can't wait to get there. Go to Komedo Kohi. When you're dying for a coffee and you're like, where should I go? Starbucks is right there. Now, nah, find a Komedo Kohi. It's 100% worth it. Mm. I don't know if they do takeaway. They probably do. But sit in. You want the experience. You want the atmosphere. Mm. You know, it's a... it's a Yeah, it's, it's, it's just good. Speaking, right. though... Go about on. wanting to come to Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, you might not want to come to Japan after the end of this podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just maybe not. Just maybe, you know. What a transition. Maybe, no. maybe we'll uh, disperse some of your illusions You're right. about the safety of Japan. We always we always do say this. We always do say it, yes. And we can, we can never really, like... What's the word? Like, truly encapsulate. Yeah. That while Japan is safer than your average America, yeah, there is still some fucked up shit that goes on in Japan. It's just not really published. It's as weird. Much. Like nobody talks about it, unless mm-hmm. it's like a um a very like national level thing. Yeah, you know, like oh, the Fukushima power plant's gonna fucking blow up, right? Like that's something that's on the news. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm, it's not necessarily mm-hmm. crime or something. The the kind of shitty crime that gets on the news is like. Pierre had one microgram of marijuana, and now ah. he is arrested, and his career is over. I read that story. Fucking yeah. Christ! Uh, big uh, sportsman found looking at photos of marijuana on his phone. Yeah, shot to death. Like it's it's like, bro, yeah, Japan, it, calm down. Japan is weird. It's not that deep. This is this is probably re- the reason we also say like when mm-hmm. you're in Japan, don't do drugs. Like don't do drugs. The, yes, the risk. Just, the it, risk. Bad. Do not do it. The risk. It's not worth it. Fuck. I even had a message from someone a while ago asking like how accessible is like marijuana in Japan, and I was like, bro, don't, don't even. <laughs> no. No. Just don't. How accessible is it? No. 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 Yeah, I, there, there is no. You don't need an explanation. No. The answer is just no. No, don't do it. So there's a really good uh website that. 
I always come across, like, I, I always forget what it's called, and then something big will happen. It's so weird, because it's such a generic name. Yes. Like, yeah. So, the, what, so, really, so what the website is, the website's called Tokyo Reporter. And what the website does is they translate articles that are released from, like, Japanese tabloids, Japanese, like, sort of not the highest level of uh, publications, but, like... Mm. The local publications, the internet publications. So things that you will not see on television. Yeah, things you won't see on television normally, then also things you won't see really translated into English often. Like Japan is a big thing about hiding um, sort of their bad side. What do you call bad shit? <laughs> All that bad shit, they normally hide it. So like, for example, they spent tons of money on good English PR mm-hmm. about the coronavirus. Yep. Even though like most of it was bullshit, but they spent tons of money to have it spent spun in a weird way in sort of in, in english publications to the extent where my friend was like isn't like isn't japan doing fine with the coronavirus right now and i'm like no bro no, no. because japan spent so much like that's what this is so this website uh tokyo reporter they they just publish like the worst shit that's happening in japan just always so we thought we'd play a little game <laughs> going going yeah. through these so the game is simple David, we got a little spinner. Yep. So hang on, let me let me open up this this spinner here. So we have a little spinner. We're gonna talk about the crime that you never hear about in Japan. Yeah. And this is recent crime. This will yeah. probably be within the last month. Yes. Most of it. Yes. So we have a little spinner. We have some categories here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the wheel, and me and Jordan are gonna look for a crime that relates to that category. Now, are we gonna we're we gonna make this like a con like who has the better crime? Yes. Yes. Okay. And we're gonna decide this how just by vote. Us two. We're gonna okay. we're gonna okay. decide. We're gonna, we're decide. We're gonna okay. decide. Like, okay. we'll, we'll know who has the better crime. Okay. And then so, and if and if we can decide, we'll, we'll jank in. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine. how everything that's is fine. sold in Japan. Okay. Um, Do you wanna go for the categories? Yeah. So the categories are uh, one, idol or celebrity. Good category. So this is this is a crime that involves someone who is famous mm-hmm. or someone who is a celebrity. Uh, the second one is a crime of passion. Now mm-hmm. take that as you will. I left it pretty open, but this any is way a cr- you want. yeah, any way you want to take this. A man has shot up a Chuck E. Cheese. Crime of passion. Crime of passion. <laughs> he really hated cheese. Yeah. And the name Chuck E. <laughs> Fair enough. Go ahead. Next one. Drugs. Just simply Just drugs. 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 Doesn't matter. <laughs> drugs. Drugs. Uh, next one is politics. Ooh, it's going to be good. So, Japanese politicians are scum. Oh, so, I'm scum. sure that this will not be hard to find a crime that mm-hmm. involves a Japanese politician being scum. Um, next one is sex. Because, uh, obviously, sex. you know, s- sex and drugs, they go together like PB&J. The next one's rock and roll. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, next one is sports. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know. How, how do you want to determine? Is this like... Someone involved with sports, crime in a sport. Either way is good. Something is, the it's, crime involves sports the, somehow. Yeah, the crime involves sports. So okay. whether that be it's, it's a sport related or happening in sports or sport adjacent. Okay. Sports is good. All right. Um the next one is foreign objects. So this is this is a crime committed with a wacky object. Mm, like man killed with Yeah. <laughs> Pikachu hat i don't know sure yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter as, as long as the object involved in the crime is weird mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then free whatever which you is want. which is you you choose and find find, your... find a crime so do, are we gonna have a time limit on how long we get to search yeah i th- i think that that's probably yeah. probably fair okay yes. and you'll have to give me a second because i have to leave the choose yeah yeah yep, 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 so yep, yep, yep. uh let's do our first one here the first category is Politics, go. Okay, so politics should be easy because you think there is <laughs> there is normally like separate tabs for this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Politics. There is one specifically for politics, huh? There is, there is. You can like jump in there and sort of find something politics related. There's not that many, that many uh pages. I actually. For politics? Yeah, I'm I'm actually like kind of surprised. Okay, I found my one. Mm. So we're only gonna read the title. If we have the same one, it's a draw. Okay. 
You got yours? Yep. Okay, we might have the same one. My one is, affairs ministry region chief accused of stealing woman's underwear at hotel. Oh, ho, ho, that the one's good. Fucking affairs ministry region chief. Shit, dude. Wow, that one's that one's pretty good. Mine is mine went way way darker oh, than that. Oh God, what's he holds? Former top bureaucrat with agriculture ministry accused of fatally stabbing son. Holy shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Seriously? Yeah. God dang. Uh. 76-year-old former top bureaucrat for the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry and Fisheries over the f- alleged fatal stabbing of his son, reports Fuji News. What the fuck? Uh, this happened last year. This hap- Oh, mine happened literally this month, March 2nd. Oh, shit, really? This was like a couple <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, gosh. So, ready? Yeah. So, the guy's name is Hiroshi Tanaka. So Hiroshi Tanaka, uh, fucking Tanaka, of course it's fucking fucking Tanaka. Hiroshi Tanaka, fifty-eight, allegedly trespassed into the woman's bath at a hotel in Ta- Taihaku Ward, stole one pair of underwear belonging to a woman from the dressing room. What an absolute Why? shitbag! Wow. What an absolute. Look at this man's face. He looks like someone who do that. Oh yeah, well. he looks like a piece of shit. He looks like a piece of shit. All right, who are we giving it to? Is it is it weirder or more terrifying? Depends. Mm. I'm gonna give it to you. Ay, I also because that was just weird. I also like, given it to me for the weirdness yeah. alone of that. Okay. A. Uh, next category. Oh, uh, what's scum? <laughs> we won't have. Oh, it, it went to politics again. We're not going to repeat. No, 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 Foreign objects. Oh God, foreign objects is a hard one. I'm just going to go straight to like um crime, like just, just crime, crime, just crime. pure, just pure crime. Hmm, like the foreign object was used in the crime? No, there is an object. An object is part of the crime, whether it was used or stolen or okay. whatever. Yeah. Okay, okay. I searched something random and I'm going to just choose. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> I could. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, no. We did we have food as an option as well? No, we had free as an option. Okay. Free, yeah, free would be probably where you. Uh... I just found a really weird one that I'm probably gonna use for that. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, I might, I might do that one. I, I searched something random, and I'm just gonna choose. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh man, there's a. Uh... Oh, that was 2016. Okay, it's way too old. I've gone way too far back. I'm going to try to stick to things in 2020. Okay, that's 2020, that's 2020, yeah, 2020 yeah. 2021. We'll keep it we'll keep it fresh. Keep it uh keep it this year-ish. Hmm, foreign object. Like this is this is actually I made this category and this is actually harder than I thought. I thought there's going to be some some wacky. Do you know what uh, I did? I just searched a random object. Ah. And then smart. like I looked whatever crimes was around that object. Okay. I'll tell you what I searched, <laughs> and then and then I'll tell you what <laughs> what crime I found and the weird object. It was pretty stupid. Mm. I was hoping for a different crime entirely, but the one I found is pretty. Uh, it wasn't what I wanted, but I think it's what I needed. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> you might have. I think time's up for this one. Ooh. Should I read you my one? Yeah. Okay. So I searched ramen. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to find crimes that included ramen, but the 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 weird object I found was clown mask. Oh, the, oh, clown mask. The, the crime good. happened in Saitama, and the crime is man in clown mask burglarizes popular ramen shop. A man in a clown mask burglarizes pop. Hmm, which is pretty good. I just remembered. Go on. I, do, I don't need to search for this because I remember this crime because it happened this month. Oh, shit. Go on. British national arrested <gasps> after stuffing bentos into bentos mailboxes in, in Kamakura. I forget that crime. <laughs> Fuck. That's the one I should have used. Yeah. You win this one. <laughs> That's a really good one. You win this one. So I'm, I'm going to read the, the, the fucking thing. So I remember the story as well. Um. Of course this man's last name is Tanaka as well. No, of course his last name is Tanaka. 
uh, he's he was the the guy was shoving bento boxes into so post boxes at around two twenty p.m. on Monday. Anthony Tanaka, of no known occupation, <sighs> allegedly stuffed an empty bento container, chopsticks, and a plastic bottle into his street mailbox in front of the city's government office. Upon his arrest on suspicion of violating the Waste Management and Public Cleansing Act, Tanaka, thirty-seven, denied the allegations, saying, "I thought it was a garbage can." <laughs> So here's the best bit about the story, because I I read a couple of articles about this. So what happened was this wasn't a one off thing. No, he did it multiple. He'd been times. doing this for months, and then they noticed they were like they were like why is what why the, is the fuck? mail all fucking dirty? Why is it all covered in shit every every fucking time? So then they did a stakeout, saw this man doing it, and fucking arrested him. Good, Kobe gets sent to Japanese bum rate prison. Thank right. you. That's one. That's one to one. That's one to one. Ah, oh, that bento one is a fucking good one. God damn it. Okay, next one should be easy. Drugs. Ah, oh, dude, come on. Drugs. Oh, man, there's got to be some good drug crime. Considering Japan thinks everything's a fucking drug. My whole thing with this is looking for crimes that are entertaining. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to. Uh, depress the, the listeners mm, yeah it's hard i found a really funny crime before like but it's like a while ago I when found i was one. oh fuck that was quick shit this one happened this month oh god this month 10 days ago for, on march 14th oh sorry last year last year 20 it's not it's not 2020 anymore jesus god i, I keep doing that as well yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I need a... Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to win this, but this is really funny. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to go first, then? Yeah, go on. Okay. Yeah. Mine is American woman accused of smuggling cocaine in bra. Oh, that's good. Are you fucking... That's so stupid. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. Mine is... So, it's about Supreme, the brand. Okay. Uh -huh. So, Supreme director bought stimulus drugs, and in quotes, from a foreigner. <laughs> from a foreigner? <laughs> from a foreigner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just from a foreigner. I just thought it was funny. Um, the Japan director of the... Metropolitan Tokyo Police have accused the director of the Japan-based sales company for fashion brand Supreme for using stimulus drugs, reports the Yomiro Shimbun. Then he says that when asked, like, where he... Oh, he's 52. And he, uh -huh. was, he was arrested at a love hotel. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I was tired and I have job stress. I took a, I, <laughs> I took a capsule in my hotel. Room. I bought it a month ago from a from foreigner. A foreigner. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Oh, that's good. I th I think you win that one. That, you know that was a, that was Dude, a, the the was devil was in the details on the, that one. Yeah, <laughs> a fucking love hotel. I don't know. This one's pretty good too. Go on. On February twenty twenty third, Lori Jane Trumpy, fifty, allegedly arrived at the fifty fifty. She's fifty. Yeah, allegedly arrived at the airport on a flight from Brazil with about two point two kilograms of cocaine inside of her bra. Two kilograms of cocaine what that's a lot of cocaine david i kind of want to give this one to you though that's kind of i no, 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 no the guy the guy caught using stimulus drugs the stimulant drugs hotel. at a fucking love hotel ah, way funnier dude that's fucking hilarious spin that wait what's the point so far two one yeah two to one two to one Spin, All right. spin that crazy wheel. Also, remember this site's called the Tokyo Reporter, guys. If you want to see like some dark sides of Japan, this oh, is. Oh yeah, there's. Is, yo, th we're we're finding ones that aren't so dark. Yeah. There are some fucking there's some dark shit on this well, website. It's a good chance to show that because I just rolled free. Oh shit! I man, I don't want to go too dark with these just because I, I want to go as dark as I can. Oh, dude, there's some. Fucking Do we want to put a limit on the free category? What do you mean? Um, like limit it to a time <coughs> or a place or uh let's limit it to do you want to say an area? Okay, yeah, sure we can limit it. Do you want to, to an say area. let's say Kanagawa? Kanagawa, okay, specifically I, Kanagawa. I know there's some fucked up things in Kanagawa. 
So, like Yokohama then? Yeah, that's kind of go. Okay, yeah, okay. Hmm. Right? You know, yeah, there's like always... Um... <gasps> oh, no. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think I found one. Oh, <gasps> I forgot about this one! This literally happened... Okay. I fa Ugh, I'm stuck between two. We'll go with this one. Because... I, oh my god. Okay, I've, I've decided my crime. You've decided your crime. It's fucked up. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm just, I'm just uh, zipping through here. How bad could it be? Is it like, is it like actually that fucked up? It's not so fucked up that it, you're like, oh, that's really dark. It's fucked up just like, wow, what the fuck kind of thing. It's not like, oh god, how morbid. It's more like, oh fuck, I hope this guy gets punched in the fucking dick. Okay, that's yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, yeah. I, no one, no one wants hurt, but definitely that's emotional scarring. Hmm. That's. I want to go really dark on this one. Yeah. So, go uh, on. you can you can read yours while I'm while I'm searching here. Mine was, Kanagawa vice principal accused of smearing own bodily fluid on girl. Oh my god! Now here's the thing, this happened in Kanagawa, in an area that I used to live in. So I know the AOT of the school that this happened in. Oh, really? Yes. So I know. Oh, he, my God. He, as he went to school one day, there were people waiting outside of his school, like reporters being like, do you have a comment? Do you have a comment? You know what was going on. So the vice principal of the school did it. Now, here's the worst thing. This guy's the vice principal of an elementary school. And the bodily fluids he speared on a girl. This girl, I think the girl was in like junior high school. Fucked up it happened on the train as well on the fucking old ducky line dude what an app what an absolute yeah the girl was like oh it was a first year middle schooler an ichinense student ichinense this girl was a fucking shogakse last year dude that's disgusting i yeah. hope this man gets punched in the dick fuck this guy huh i'm not finding one that i want that's like really fucking good hmm I want it, I want it, like, I want, like, one that's, like, really fucking dark. Hmm. <laughs> Holy shit, there's tons, dude. Oh, yeah, there's tons, but, like, yeah. Yeah, um, hmm. All right, we're gonna go to page 18, and we'll see what's on page 18. Go on, I believe in you. Man, people gotta be careful on trains. There's so many fucking weird... Man. Mm -hmm. Oh god, he's got that face. What'd you find? Oh, okay, this is in the same vein as you. Go on. Uh this happened in 2015. Mm -hmm. Ex-Yokohama principal arrested for child porn it kept 150,000 <gasps> pictures. Holy fuck! What? Which school? Where where which school oh, is this? Whoa, 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 whoa David. This Kanagawa? Yokohama? Yeah, Yokohama. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. That's not good. That's the thing. Oh, man. This this gets even darker. Read it. Read it. No, you just need to... It's not even, like, digital pictures. <gasps> it's actual photo it's albums. It's physical photo albums. Holy shit. Fucked up shit. It's yeah. physical... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of photo albums. Holy fuck. That's a lot. You can't even see it. But it's how many is in a stack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight in a stack. Some have more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten in each stack. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So about a hundred, more than 180. I'd say probably about 200 photo albums full. This man must have been taking the photos himself then, clearly. Something, yeah. What scum. Like... This is the thing. So, this is the thing about this. Okay. A lot of teachers. Oh, man, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say a lot of teachers. Some disgusting individuals become teachers so they can perv on students mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and i it's I've, fucking gross it's fucking gross and i, I fought especially in japan i should put that's a caveat and 
for a long time, I thought this. Like, I've met some weird teachers and I've been like, you're really, like, I get really weird vibes of you. Like, you're yep. a really creepy teacher. You know what I mean? And I was talking about this with my friend. She works in an all-girls school. She said to me, barring two male teachers in the school, mm-hmm. every other male teacher is married to an ex-student of the school. What the fuck? Yep. Barring two teachers. Every Ugh. every other male teacher is married to an ex-student of the school. How fucked up is that? How... F- it's an all-girls school as well. Like, I, think it's, I think it's an all-girls high school. Yeah. Yeah. So that's at the age where they're like... They're developing, they're discovering themselves, they're trying to like branch out and date boys and... To, you know, in, in the same age group, and it's not like that age. Like for someone to like just start grooming these kids, fucking because they're, they're, they're kids, fucking disgusting, fucking horrible. <sighs> well, okay. okay. Next category I rolled was idol or celebrity. Idol celeb. Okay, there's always so good. this one will be something gross. I'm sure. <laughs> it's gonna be something gross. I'm sure. See, this was always the fuck yeah there's lots oh i heard about the story before oh my god are you fucking serious what the hell is that hmm (laughs) (laughs) this isn't my choice but it's funny Irritated Dragon Quest players sent death threats to Square Enix. Oh, that that happened recently. <laughs> that happened recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened like <laughs> this month. <laughs> so, what, what were they irritated about? That's the, the, they, so funny. So the reason that they got picked up mm. was because the threat that they sent was something along the lines of like, I'm going to make this the second Kyoto animation. Holy shit, what yeah. the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, and if you don't know about Kyoto Animation... That's horrible. What happened? That happened, like, what, last, last year? Last year. Yeah, go... If you don't know what happened with Kyoto Animation, go go look that up. No way. Yeah, it's... Man, it's really fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> Lol. Man. Idols are fucking... Yeah, none of these are great. Hmm. Are you serious? Okay, that's what I'm doing. Found it. That. Wow. Wow. I'm. I'm gonna open this one up just because I want to read it, mm. but I don't think that's the one I'm gonna go with. <laughs> um. But yeah, it just because it. Uh, it it is the perfect. Mm like microcosm of why Japanese police are shit. Ooh. Do you know what? Yeah. I think I know exactly which um article you're talking about. Is it the uh, one where the idol was getting stalked and she went to the police and they did nothing about it? Yep. Um, yep. I forgot I forgot her name. Uh she lived in like close to me now. Mayu? Uh what was her name? Mayu Tomita or something. Yeah, Mayu Tomita. Yes. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll Fucked read we'll up. read about that later. That's pretty fucked up actually. Hmm, what the fuck? Yeah, classic. I want to get something, like, real weird. Like, come on. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go with that one. That's pretty fucked up. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, you're so stupid. Okay, I found the one that I like because it's pretty good. This one was posted today. Holy shit, go on. So I'll read this one. It was it was the first one I saw and it's still kind of funny. Yep. So uh, the title is AV Starlet. Yuomikami admits to toilet sex. I was young. And I'll read you what the thing says. <laughs> I, I was young. I was young. Um... We will make, we will make mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> in the heat of passion. But apparently, uh, it it has to do with like Ken Watanabe and like oh, other stuff, shit holy like that. Yeah, shit. Hey, this is a long fucking article too. Holy fuck! God damn! I ain't reading all this shit. Are you kidding? <laughs> 
Go ahead. Read, read yours. Ready? Yeah. It's happened in Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Man swindled out of 700,000 yen of a chance to play with an idol. I <laughs> <laughs> you'd like that Fucking one. Fucking sucker. <laughs> Fucking sucker, dude. So, like, the best... It's a really short article. But the best thing about it was the last line of this article is just golden. So, the article basically goes that the guy was in Kabukicho, already mistake number one, and, like... Some Kabukicho swindlers were like, hey, if you give us 700,000 yen, you can play around with an idol of your choice. And he's gone, wow, shady Kabukicho man, you know all these popular idols and also their working camera will pay money for me to sex with them? Yay, let's go! So he paid the money, went to the hotel, and the person that showed up was not an idol. It was just some random skank, I assume. So he yeah. was like, well, I've been swindled. But the last line of this article reads, other tourists have lodged complaints regarding being victimized in similar scams, police said. So this man uh, is Japanese, by the way. The guy who got yeah. swindled. Mm-hmm. This man was swindled. He should know better. He should know better. Yeah, he should. But also, a bunch of other tourists also were walking around Kabukicho and some guy's gone, hey, you look, you look like you have lots of money and are fucking stupid. Pay me money to fuck this idol. And they've gone, wow, sir. Great. <laughs> Of course, here are all my travel savings. Fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. I've said I said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Guys, no matter how good you believe the mango gonna be, it ain't worth paying for it. That's yep. all I have to say. Uh I'm gonna read the one about Mayu Tomita because the guy. it it it's just showcases up. how absolutely inept and useless mm-hmm. the fucking police are here. Mm-hmm. So the the title is Idol Mayu Tomita blasts Tokyo police after being stabbed by stalker. So I'm going to just read like the first little bit. So she released a letter on, when was this? Uh, 2016. Um, it said, when police were questioning me about the details, because she had sent um, a message to them saying like, this guy is like trying to actually like fucking murder me. Yeah. Um, uh, when the police were questioned about the details, the first words they said to me after we finished greeting one another was, did you really say you thought you might be murdered? But yes, I absolutely told them the words, I might be murdered. Mm. I'm done feeling angry with the police who won't recognize this fact. And yeah, she's like, uh, Tomita 21 was left fighting for her life after Tomohiro Iwazaki stabbed her over 30 times in her neck, Jesus chest, Christ. arms, and back at a concert venue in Kogane City, May 21st. Police apologized to Tomita directly and released the results of an investigation into the handling of her case on Friday, admitting that officers should have determined there was a need to swiftly uh. secure her as safely as possible. Yeah. Well, because you didn't do your fucking job, some poor lady got fucking stabbed 30 mm. times. Like, you are just a bunch of chuckle Useless. fuck inept fucks. Fucking All man. of them. This is this is the problem. Like, uh, the, uh, one of the biggest problems in Japan is, like, they have a massive like stalking problem, mm-hmm. like creepy fucking guys stalking, and they that the the stalkers feel really emboldened by the fact that the police the don't police do fuck don't all. do shit. Like a lot of them say stuff like, "Oh, until something happens, there's nothing." They go, "Oh, it's a civil dispute. There's nothing we can do." Yeah, until something happens, nothing we can do. So I think I was watching a documentary a while back, and it sh- it said like private companies were like popping up, mm-hmm. and the private companies entire so some of them were like staffed by like ex yakuza yeah and the entire thing was like if you're being stalked you go to the police the police like oh we we can't do anything about it we have to spin our guns in circles and sit in our stupid cobans and drink tea and ride our fucking dumbass bikes and annoy foreigners as they walk around their fucking days like that's all yeah yeah that's all we can do that's the thing like the police have stopped more foreigners than they have fucking crime i was stopped last week yeah coming home from my house i was i was leaving david's house last week so i'm i've been stopped so many times i'm like in tune to the universe of when police are gonna stop me Mm -hmm. so i'm cross i'm crossing the road right by your the level crossing the the train Mm -hmm. crossing thing Yeah, yeah so i crossed the road police car like crawls past the road I was walking down and I was like, oh, they're going to stop me. And lo and behold, he does. And the man's like, oh, hey. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what do you want? He's like, oh, hey, like, we want to like, we need to search. Can I search you? And I'm like, why? And he's like, oh, we've had reports. And I'm like, what reports? Mm. I'm like, well, what reports? Like, what reports have you had? And he's like, you know, you can tell like he has nothing to say. And I'm like, this is going to take too long. So just hurry. 
I'm like, okay, do it. Go, go, get it done. Be mm, quick. Yeah. Go. And I have my camera in my bag. So he's like, oh, what's... I'm like, that's an expensive camera. If you drop it, I'll kill you. Like, it's simple as that. And he's like, oh, put it away. And I'm like, yeah, fucking, come on. Get it done. So I can go about my life. Fucking. But yeah, I think if I was... If I had more time to fuck around, what I normally do, I will just waste their time. Yep. Like, like, can we search? And I'm like, no. Can we look into your bag? Why? Can we check your pockets? No. Why? Can I see your foreigner card? No. Why? Who are you? Like, you know what I mean? Right. But yeah, fucked up. But yeah, so because of that, the companies that um, were popping up were basically saying, if you go to the police and the police don't do shit, come to us and we will deal and with we'll, it. We'll solve the problem. We will, we will solve the problem. Be- you know, because, course. of course, the cops can't intervene in civil disputes. It's a civil dispute. <laughs> the civil dispute is, I hired the Yakuza to go punch my stalker in that the was, face. That was the civil dispute. <laughs> yeah. Come, come see girls at the court. It's like, bro, I told the police I'll do it for myself. Don't worry about it. I kind of want to work there. Like, th- th- there must be something really satisfying about punching a stalker in the fucking face. Like, even yep. this, I want to stalk the stalkers. You know mm. what I mean? Make them paranoid. I want to make them so bad. Imagine, so I feel like I'll be really good at this job. Because imagine, like, a Japanese guy stalking you. You'd be like, oh, that's pretty weird. This Japanese guy's, like, getting off at the same stage as me. <laughs> right. So going down black this, man with an app is everywhere I go. Everywhere. And it's the same guy. He's always staring at me. Yo. Yo. But that would be, that would actually, like, be legitimately scary. Because, like, yeah. it wouldn't take that long if you knew where the person lived. Yeah. It would not take that long to figure out, what, like, what their, like, route yeah. to and from home is. Yeah. Because then, like, you could, you could be really fucking scary where... You know, you leave the leave the station, and you're just like sitting there with a fucking newspaper. And the second they walk by you, you just oh, follow them. That's so creepy. Or I wanna... like you stand in a spot where like no matter what they do, mm. they always see. see you. I want to be. I'm. I'm. If if I got to if some if I knew someone was stalking someone else, and they come to my a girl comes to my company. She's like, help! It's fucking weird guys stalking me. Like I can't deal. Give me some help. I'm, like, I'm on the case. Mm. find out where they live and i would just stand outside their house like so from the window they can see me and i would just stand there just watching their window for hours on end just listening to podcasts just hours on end just watching them yep they come out why are you standing here oh is that illegal hmm? oh i'm sorry no japanese <laughs> it's fucking sick dude <laughs> yeah <sighs> yeah, it's kind of. Bad. Do we want to do the last category then? Yes, crime of passion. Oh fuck! Oh man, <laughs> let me just search Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we did. <laughs> man hated cheese. And that was the couldn't get the high score in the pinball game. <laughs> he was not. He was not impressed. Oh, what do I want to search for for a crime of passion? What kind of passion are you looking? I don't for? know. Whatever, whatever passion you want. Whatever you're passionate about. I feel like the... Oh man, that's a hard one. What are, what are people passionate about? Games or some shit? Hmm. Police officer shoots, kills man with knife. Yeah, okay. How very America of you. Fuck. Oh god, he's found something good. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> God. Oh, God. man. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I know which one you've chosen. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe. It's, it's the lesbian one. Nope. No, no, no. Is it's it not? not? That one. God. That, that is a good story, though. That is a fun story. No, this one is far more funny. That's a crime of passion. I might choose that one. Hold on. Hold on. Give me literally five seconds to scroll this thing. <laughs> if we've chosen the same one, I'm gonna be just, so just, pissed. Just reading, just reading the first line of this. Oh god. Okay, I've chosen my current passion. All right, do you want to go with yours? Uh, sure. Go on. <clears throat> this happened last year in July. Oh, okay, we have for once then. <clears throat> Suspected serial pooper. <laughs> <laughs> You win! <laughs> Patrolling Akihabara. <laughs> Let me read the first paragraph. <laughs> on Tuesday, the Fuji TV program, Tokudane, <laughs> reported on a person dubbed Unkoma. 
AKA Mr. Poop. <laughs> who's taking aim at Akihabara District with his bowel movements. Kosaku no Ji- Nakajima, the owner of a model train store, says that the male perpetrator has left excrement in the streets of the popular destination in Chiyoda Ward on around 10 different occasions no. over the past three months. David, what the fuck? Uh, David, no. According to lawyer Hideo Yamada, it might be difficult for the police to accuse the perpetrator of a crime. Of course, for one, the locations are on private land. Further, since the areas are frequented by pedestrians, a crime of trespassing might not be applicable. This is... Beat that, motherfucker! Genius, I can't, I can't. The one I had doesn't even know... Hold on, I lost the one I had. I was going through pages. The one I had was... It's good, but it's not that good. It was... School vice principal accused of using a pen camera to film sex worker. Mm. And that's good, but it's no. Oh, I read that one. He has like a weird, like fucking spy camera pen, right? Yes, yes, yes. And the woman, the woman worked out she was being filmed and went to like the the agency and was like, "This guy's fucking creepy." And they busted into the room, fucking beat the guy up with some bullshit. No, you win that one. That's fucking good. Holy shit, that's very funny. That's very funny. Do you know what I searched for that? Go on. Feces. Fuck, that's good. Shit. Because I, I knew, I knew there had to be some scatologically related God. crime. I should have just. You know, pain. I think, I think we've had a yep. good episode here, but it's been, a, it's been pretty jokesy. But man, go read TokyoReporter.com mm. and read some of the other shit that we didn't pick. Because like, oh. obviously, we made this into a game. Yeah. But there's. There's some shit that's real fucking dark. I feel like if you so. Sometimes when I feel like Japan's a little bit too bright and sunny, like the Tokyo Reporter really brings you back down to to stage. It's a fun game you can play as well, where you can search up the area you live in and find the crimes that have been committed in the area near you. Yeah, do we want to read just... I'm going to read like the first page of crimes that happened this week. Oh, this this week? week? Okay, go for it. This week. Uh, Police search for trio after youth is fatally stabbed. Fuck. Uh, Yakuza nabbed over alleged sales of stimulant drugs. Um, Oh. Man does not re- man does not recall alleged drug and, and sexual, sexual assault, assault of, of a girl. girl. Drunk uh, man, drunk man, thirty two collapses on sleeping nephew and suffocates him to death. Man accused of setting fire to building hosting idol event in Tokushima. A uh, woman lived on streets for two weeks to find clean place to leave her daughter's corpse. Uh, oh, system dude. engineer not to be prosecuted for dumping corpse in Okinawa in 2006. It's fucked up. And the last one is police suspect a missing woman plunged to death from a bridge in Sapporo. Yep. Like, there, Japan does have a very... Man 20 posed as doctor to take up scene videos of high school girls. Shut the fuck up. Like, that's just this week. Like, that's not Holy even... Holy fuck. When was that? No, that's... 25th that's not even oh no no sorry that was yesterday that was so so everything we've read thursday has been from thursday that's two days fucked up that's the thing japan does have a very prevalent underbelly it's very fucked up there's a lot of bad shit that happens here so like when people say things to me like oh japan like it's no crime it's so blah blah i'm like no you just you just can't read the articles in japanese that are put out about right crimes that are actually happening so this website is pretty good for actually looking at the crime. The that actual are crime that's going on. Look it up. Yeah. You, an hour. Go on Tokyo Reporter for an hour. I, your, your image will change. It will change. There's even even me, because mm. I knew that like obviously crimes going on, yeah. but just the sheer amount of fucking yeah. stabbings and yes. murder is crazy. Actually, crazy. Mm. Because, you know, you hear about, like, you know, you hear about the ones that happen in, like, uh, the big in ones. Zama. You hear, you know, guy left the bodies in the... The freezer. The freezer, the coolers for, like, three years, and they all found them in his house. Like, those ones make, like, national news because they're fucking it's crazy. It's crazy, yeah. But, like, small things, like, oh, dude stabbed someone 30 times because he was stalking her, like... They don't make news. That doesn't make the news. Like, from all these crimes, like, the ones I heard about, the ones I saw on Twitter were, like... The, the British guy putting bento boxes in the post office. I saw that. Yeah, like that's ha That's it, funny, It was like, right? ha what an idiot. That's, that's, a, that's a funny crime. Yeah, or the really crazy dark ones, or the really fucked up, like big ones that happened, or a massive train crash. Shit like that, national news. But like the everyday crime I would see at home in like, in the UK. 
like, oh, local man stabbed because of blah, blah, blah. You see that every day because you're supposed to report on these things. Whereas in Japan, like, they don't really report on them as much as they should, which is why sites like this are very good for actually really getting a grip of how much yeah, there shit is... happens in Japan. Especially if you don't speak Japanese. Yeah, it's... Yeah, some are really dark. Don't spend too long on this website if you have any uh, triggerable uh, yeah, issues. You don't some want. of them is like... Yes, no, yeah. Fuck. And the crazy thing is, like, I just clicked on, like, what's the crime thing? Mm. There's 1,000, like, 200 pages yeah, worth of yeah. articles. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. The, the worst ones are, like, honestly, for me, like, going through the website, you have, like, updated articles. So it'd be, like, when it was first made, then the update, then the update. Mm-hmm. And the most, like, the ones where I'm like, okay, thank fuck. It's, like, man accused of doing bad thing to girl. And then it'll be, like, man... Uh, court case for doing bad things to girl man sentenced to 50 years in prison and i'm like fuck yeah fuck that guy oh like but then it's stuff like it's man stuff like, acquitted yeah yeah and i'm like what the fuck man did not recall having sex oh well it must have not happened yeah shit like that yeah or it's like ah uh, man man said didn't do it girl said did courts yeah. decided didn't do it he's free to fuck like it's sh- it's shit like that like yeah the court system in Japan are also kind of trash. Like, it takes them a long time to actually get cases through the courts. Like, the last one we saw, like, he was accused not guilty of something that happened in 06. Mm. Yeah, oh, like, like I think this this story made it into news. Uh, American teacher posts a video saying he will stab children to death. What the fuck? Did you not hear about this? No. No. So, the Gifu uh, professional police have arrested a male American national teacher in Kaizu City over an alleged online threat that he will stab children to death. So he posted a video Why would on he... social media. He says, tomorrow I will go to elementary schools and stab all the children to death. Holy shit. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. It's, yeah. There's like, like shit like that happens all the fucking time. What? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's, whoa. it's fucking crazy. So like if, I hate 45? People... Wow. Yeah, I hate people saying like, oh, Japan is still safe. It's like, yeah, in general, mm. yes, Japan is safe. But shit, bad shit. When, when I think that in Japan, when shit goes bad, it's like always nuclear. Yes. yes right. Yes, yes. It's like the dude in Zama who like had like 10 bodies in his house. Right. It wasn't just like, oh, he stabbed someone or like got in a fight and like someone fell down and they fucking died. It's no. like, no, he like was luring people to his house and then chopping up their bodies and then mm-hmm. putting them in mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. beer coolers and mm-hmm. shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. Mm hmm. It's, it is always the nuclear option. Or, like, do you remember, I think it was, like, maybe it was last year. Do you remember that guy who just went up to, like, the elementary school kids who were waiting at the bus stop yeah, in Kawasaki and, like and stabbed stabbing them, them. To death? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Fucked. Absolutely. Absolutely but, like, that's, fucked. that's one of the things that got reported on the news. Yeah, so, right. Like, I you, remember that. You imagine how much other stuff happened, obviously, that week mm. that didn't get on the news. Like I said, it's always the big nuclear things that don't get reported. Yep. I think a lot of these things like do circle back to like how poor the mental health is in Japan. Mm-hmm. Like because it's so trash, like people do sort of go insane. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you know, you can say like it's because mental health, because the person was insane or like he he his mind broke or something. But then other times, it's like no, this man was just a horrible, horrible fucking dickhead and needs to go to prison. Like, yep. you know, it's a uh, it's different cases. Either way. If it comes to Japan, stay safe. Don't do anything uh, Do not too fucked up. If you're coming to Japan and you go to Kabukicho, oh, oh. do not go with anyone on the street. Anyone. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. Don't. Also, this is a new thing. Right? So you know the, the cults and stuff as well? Ah, so, the, the good old Fuji cult. Good old Fuji cult. So apparently, like, the Fuji cult does target lots of foreigners as well. Mm. So while we're, while we're looking at the bad side of Japan, like, there are still, like, massive amounts of cults Mount here. Fuji, mm. Jesus Christ. They're the same person. Same person. Like, Jesus Christ transformed into fucking Mount, Mount Fuji. Fuji. Yeah, right. So, like, There's don't... Wholesome Christian values in Wholesome Mount Fuji. fucking Christian values, guys. Listen, don't... Kabukicho, follow no one. Don't even go to Kabukicho, really. I mean, there's, there's yeah, nothing yeah, really there. Don't. It's a bunch of bars and it's bullshit. Robot restaurant's been closed down now. Who was also ran by a Nazi, but Also yeah. run by a Nazi, yep, yeah, very important to say. But it's closed down now. There's no reason for you to be there, really. There's nothing in Kabukicho about drinks. Nope. Don't don't follow anyone. When it comes to cults and stuff, if anyone invites you to anywhere like, hey, do you want to come to this meeting thing? That's like a, don't do it. Don't do Just it. Don't go. Just don't go. Just don't go. It's easy. 
Don't don't do it. Like I know people are like oh, I kind of want some more friends in Japan, so maybe I'll go to this meeting thing with these guys. Don't go. Don't nope. do it. Also, be careful of Tinder as well. Apparently, girls and are like from cults and stuff are on Tinder, like pretending to be mm. like interested in you. In actual fact, they're like just like from, from cults and shit. Be careful, guys. Japan's that's a kinda... different kind of cult. Yo, that's a. D- <laughs> it's not a cult I want to join. It's a scary cult. Be careful, bro. Don't don't join a cult for pussy. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. I really want to leave my house. That's that's how terrorists get you. <laughs> that's how, that actually is how terrorists. That's how terrorists get you. It if the cult is. you're joining has similarities with terrorists, don't join that cult. Don't join that cult. Don't it's do it. It's a bad it. idea. Eventually, guys, for those who are like eager to join a cult, I'll make a cult. Give me some time. I'll make one for everyone. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll work on the logistics. We'll get that cult up there. You can all join. It'll be fantastic. But until then, you know, don't just just hold that money close. Mm-hmm. We'll make donations. <laughs> we'll make a Patreon. But eventually. you know where you can send that money? Ho, 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 ho. We're going to have merch, I think, <laughs> probably by the end of this week. Yeah, so merch pending. Time. Yeah. Store's going to be open soon. Very excited. We'll I've... talk about it on the next podcast. I think we'll have it up by then. Oh, fantastic. We'll then do we'll it then. we'll talk about it then. Hopefully, we'll get some merch. Hopefully, people like the designs that I've I've worked on. They're very good. We'll see. We'll I've, see. I've had good feedback about all the designs. Okay, that's good. Because I, I have also as well, but you know, people just like to suck your dick. and They do. Then these are the kind of people who say like, yeah, I'll buy three shirts. And then you never talk to that person for two more years. Right. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like that's, that's exactly how it works. Right. This is why I posted it on my, um, on my Instagram. Cause a lot of people on my Instagram are my friends, but a lot of just like people that I've never met before. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the ones I've never met before were like, wow, these, like, where can I get this kind of thing? And I was like, oh, good. People are generally interested um, in the designs, which is, it's not my friends going, wow, yeah. this is great. It's like just randoms that I've never met going. Yo, these are, these are really, can I, can I, where can I buy these? And I'm like, good, mm. good, 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 okay, good, 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 good. So it can happen. I will right, leave you there, guys. Guys, stay safe if you come to Japan. Corona's happening anyway, so you can't really come. Apparently the Olympics are still on. We'll get there eventually. <sighs> Maybe we'll talk about that Maybe next we'll talk about week. Next week. Yeah, I, I got a lot uh, to say about that. We'll get there. Guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'll see you, see you next week. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.